Okay, so I just had lunch at the Golden Corral. Uh, I have never eaten at the Golden Corral before. I've seen commercials for it. And I found out there's actually one not far from my work. So I figured today for lunch, I was going to take a little drive over and have lunch there. I wasn't sure uh, how, what the price was exactly. I think it was about 10 bucks is what I was anticipating. The girl charged me for a senior price. What the hell is that all about? Do I look like I'm 60 and over? I Do I really? That's just, man, whatever. I didn't film myself eating in there. I didn't want to do any filming inside the restaurant because I'm not really comfortable doing that. I don't know if they're going to give me any slack for doing this. You know, places, different business establishments are, they're weird about stuff like that. So I figured, forget it. I'm not going to, uh, I'm not going to risk it. So what is my opinion of Golden Corral? Well, it's food. That's about the best I can say about it. It's food. It's edible. It's not exactly tasty. Uh, now, I, the reason I decided to give Golden Corral a shot is because, you know, most buffets are going to have a good deal of like keto options. And Golden Corral actually did. I was worried that they were going to be kind of limited, but it was still breakfast. So they still had some breakfast stuff out. So lots of uh so they had bacon they had eggs they had some of the breakfast staples that are obviously keto friendly and they had things i was just surprised they had things like brussels sprouts green beans broccoli um, they had a carving station with ham um what else they had some pot roast that had like a sauce i'm sure it was like a, a flour type of uh, gravy but um, i just had a few pieces of that they had a uh, rotisserie chicken. They, they had a lot of, uh, you know, obviously in a big salad bar. So they had a lot of keto options. So I think for keto, if you're in a pinch, it's okay. You can go in there and find some stuff. Um, the only carby item that I did try was these fried ravioli. Like I got, I had this, I had one <laughs> fried ravioli, uh, which was the best thing on the plate that I ate there. It was the tastiest thing. Everything else was okay. It was I think, I think bland is probably the best, the best, um, um, the best description, really bland, nothing had flavor. So I had to salt everything. Um, even stuff that looked like it had flavor didn't, it was bland. So yeah, like the chicken, the rotisserie chicken, not only was it, it was the opposite of the, it was kind of tasted funny. Had a little weird little taste to it. Yeah, I don't know. It's, I I was thinking, uh, I've been to Hometown Buffet. That's the closest thing I can compare Golden Corral to. And I was thinking Golden Corral might be, a, hopefully it was going to be a bit of a step up from Hometown. It's as bad as, it's just, as, it's the same as Hometown. It's the same kind of just food, you know. And despite what they may claim in their commercials and on their website, that it's, it's you know, great, great high quality food made from scratch. Um, it's not high quality food. It's really not. It's the lowest common. That's probably common knowledge. You know, you're saying, hey, yeah, Golden Corral, of course it's low quality. But it really is for anybody who is on the fence about that place. They've never been there. They're curious. They're like, hey, uh, you know, I want to go try that place out. Excuse me. A little my sugar-free lemonade. Um, like, yeah, I want to go try that place out. You absolutely can find options there. And if you're not doing low carb, if you're doing the SAD diet, you know, the standard American diet, obviously tons of stuff, mashed potatoes, mac and cheese, pizza, uh, you know, pasta, there's fried everything there. So they do have a lot of stuff. I would say definitely more than hometown buffet. That is, that is what I will say. A lot more than hometown buffet, a lot more options in general, not just keto options, but just in general, it, there's a lot more to choose from. So in that sense, I give Golden Corral the thumbs up there. They have the leg up on a place like hometown, but it's still, it's still, you know, bad, not bad food, not horrible food. That's eh, pretty bad. Eh, okay. I'll say it. Yeah, it's pretty bad. Golden Corral is not great. I, like I said, I probably won't go back there. 
there's other options for me if you're on for for keto there's i definitely have way more options than this i was just curious because for what i spent which was 1050 because they charged me for a senior like i mentioned uh, i think 1150 is normal price that's actually okay for lunch it's not a bad deal for the amount of food that you get if you're okay with the quality of the food but otherwise though i would just kind of steer i probably won't go back here um, I wouldn't, I definitely would not take my family to eat here. The, the, I, I, I don't mind putting myself in harm's way as far as like getting sick and like food poisoning. I think I'm, I'm pretty not immune to it, but I think I have a good high tolerance for it. I don't know if my, my wife and my daughter have the same kind of high tolerance. They probably don't. They actually, they have weaker stomachs. That's for sure. So I would not take them here. And my wife would not go here. She would not step foot in a golden corral. That's why I have to do it myself. I have to go and take myself to these kind of places and eat crap food because that's the way, that's the way things go. So yes, that is my rant on golden corral. Uh, it gets a, it gets a, a Zangief sideways thumb. because it's not great it's not good it's not bad it's just kind of right in the middle and uh like i said if you're doing a standard american diet if you're not doing keto if you're just doing just eating regularly just eating whatever then they're gonna have a lot for, they'll, they'll have tons they've got tons of mo tons more stuff so maybe i'm not i'm not really able to review this I would say from a standpoint of keto, if you're in a pinch, if there is no really nowhere else to go, you can go here because like I said, they have quite a nice variety, quite a nice um, selection of keto friendly foods. We're talking Brussels sprouts. When do you ever see Brussels sprouts on a, in a buffet? They have it. They will, they will give it to you. So yes. So yeah, Golden Corral gets gets an, gets a pass, but it's but it's not great. So yeah, we'll do this again with another place.